Okay guys, real quick before the video starts, I want to take a moment to talk about today's sponsor, Private Internet Access. So for those of you who live in Europe, you've probably heard about the Article 13 being passed. And basically for those of you who aren't familiar with it, it means that if you enjoy watching YouTube videos and looking at memes on Reddit, uh, you're not going to get as much of that stuff as you're used to because now a lot of it is going to end up being blocked because of copyright law. You should totally check out Private Internet Access. It's a VPN solution, which in layman's terms means you are now able to completely anonymize yourself on the internet, encrypt your connection, and mask your IP address. So if you live in Europe, you can make it look like you're in America or Asia or wherever and gain access to all that blocked content. It's a super great way to get past all those just awful restrictions and look at the stuff that you want to see. It's anonymous, there's no logs kept, and best of all, you can get the service for just under four euros a month. And on top of that, you can help support the channel by using my link below to sign up for it. And then I'll be able to use the money to help make more videos and awesome stuff like that. So I definitely would appreciate it. And yeah, thank you all so much. And let's get into today's video. What is up everybody? Welcome back to the channel and welcome to a very special video on how I make my tea. Why do you guys ask me how I make my tea? Ask me to make a video showing you guys so it is here today. Before I start though, I do want to apologize. The video and audio quality is pretty bad because I used my um, really cheap smartphone to record this since I don't actually have like a proper camera. Um, so yeah, the audio and the vid visuals are not that great so I do apologize for that. But uh, yeah, I do show you how I make my tea from start to finish. Hope you all enjoy it. And yeah, thank you all for checking it out. Now let's get right into it. All right, so the first thing you're gonna wanna get is a pot about this size. I mean, this is about the one I usually use. So next, you're gonna wanna go over here and fill it up with some water. And me personally, I don't know if I can hold the camera straight. Me personally, I don't like using the tap water. So I use water from this lovely little water filter here. We can put water in the top and it comes out filtered from the bottom. Get rid of all that nasty chlorine and fluoride and all that nasty stuff. All right, so that's about near where the top is, so I'm gonna turn that off. Next, you put it over here on the stove. I unfortunately have an electric stove, not a gas one but it will do just fine. So you go over here and you set it all the way to high. And then you go over here to where you have your tea bags. I keep mine in this little cabinet. This is not the kind of tea you want to use. The kind of tea I use is this tea right here. Tetley Specially Crafted Blend for Iced Tea. Now usually I use decaf, but this is not decaf, but that's fine. Any brand of tea will do, but make sure it's made for iced tea and it actually says them on the package. So in here you take two tea bags. All right, take these two, put this back inside. There we go, it's kind of inconvenient I have to open the dishwasher before I can pour, pull this drawer out, but oh well. All right, so then you pick the two tea bags and you put them in here on this. As you can see, they'll get wet and they'll soak it up. So basically what we're gonna do now is we're gonna wait for about 30 minutes until the water gets all hot and right before it starts boiling, we're gonna pull it off and put it in the tea pitcher. So while we're waiting on that, we're gonna get a tea pitcher. It's gonna be about this size right here. Now I don't actually know the measurements of all this stuff. I could look it up, but I'm not going to because I'm pretty lazy. So we're gonna take this right here, okay? So you would either use regular sugar or you would use a dietary type of sugar, like for example, what I'm using called stevia, okay? Now if you're gonna use regular sugar, you want to get one cup one cup, okay, and then scoop out the regular sugar, one cup's worth, and put it here in the pitcher. However, I don't use regular sugar, I use stevia, but if you don't want to use stevia, and you want to use regular sugar, do it that way. Since I'm using stevia, I'm going to take a fourth of a cup, and I'm going to scoop it out, open this real quick, there we go, I'm going to scoop it out, put it here in the tea pitcher. There we go. Now in addition to that, I'm gonna put some lemon juice in there to help give it a little bit of a better flavor. Stevia has a little bit of a bite to it. The lemon juice not only makes the tea taste better, but it takes up some of that stevia bite to it as well. Now unfortunately, I don't have a one-eighth of a cup 
measuring tool, which is exactly what I would use for the type of lemon juice, so I have to improvise. So after shaking the lemon juice up, what you want to do is you want to take your fourth a cup measuring tool, and you can do this with tea that has sugar in it as well as tea that has stevia in it, but make sure it's just one eighth of a cup either way. What you want to do is you want to fill this one quarter cup measurement tool up completely halfway, and then just dump it in to the pizza. And there you go. So we'll let that all, we'll let that, you know, sort of swirl around a little bit. And we again are going to wait until our tea, you can see the water's already getting a little bit brown there. We're going to wait until that's finished, until it's almost boiling. We're going to turn off, let it sit and steep for a little while. And then we're going to come back and we're going to mix it all together. One eternity later. All right, so once it starts getting that white frothy stuff up on top, that's about when it's time to turn it off. So I'm going to go ahead and turn it off. We're going to let it just sort of sit here for about 10 minutes, just steep a little bit get a little bit more concentrated, and then after that's up, we're gonna come back and we're gonna mix it all together. 20 minutes later. Alrighty, so it's been sitting here steeping a while, so I think it's just about ready. I'm gonna take a nice wooden spoon here, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this pot, and I'm gonna pour it here in the tea, in the tea pitcher, and take the wooden spoon and then hold the bags down so they don't go in the pitcher along with the tea, and I'm gonna press the bags with the spoon to squeeze all the remaining tea uh, right out of the bag. So I'm gonna have to set the camera down for this unfortunately since I cannot hold it and do this at the same time since it requires two hands. So I will do my best to position it at just the right angle for you guys to watch. Alright, and here we go. So taking the spoon, I squeeze the tea bags, squeeze all the remaining tea out of it, the most strong part of it as well. All right, so we're done with that, so we can set it aside for now. So next, we take our tea here, and we just stir it around with the spoon. There we go. So this is about half, this pitcher's about halfway filled. So you see this little line right here. I believe you can see it, it kind of goes around. That's where we want it to be filled up to. So the rest of the pitcher, we fill up with just regular water. Until we get up to about where that line is. Alrighty, and there we go guys, all filled up with water. So again, you want to stir it real good. Make sure the tea and water gets all mixed up well together. And we go the other direction, because why the steak not? Alright, and there we go. That is how you make cascarte tea, boys. And believe me, it is pretty good. Now. Personally, I don't really care for it when it's freshly made because it's still warm and the flavors haven't really seeped and blended together very well. So what I would do, tell you to do is put it here in the fridge for a little while. See? That's what you do. You put it here in the fridge. See, here's some old tea. I'm going to take this pitcher out real quick and put this new pitcher in. There we go. You can see there's not much of this left, but it's the same stuff as this. So we're going to put the fridge in here. Oh, by the way, this tea is much better than this A&W root beer. So we're going to put that tea in there, and when I get nice and cold, leave it in the fridge for a couple hours, guys. You can drink it fresh. It's not going to kill you or anything, but it's definitely not going to taste as good. So yeah, this is some stuff that's been in here for a while. So it's all nice and uh, nice and aged. So we're going to get a glass. Where is my glass? Anyway, I bet you I left my glass over here in the room. And my little recording area. So let me grab that real quick. So you can see I have some ice in this glass, right? Oh look, there's a tennis ball, probably for the dog. So let's make sure we get plenty of ice to fill this up with. All right. We're gonna take some ice cubes here, put them in. We've already got plenty of ice in the glass, but it will not hurt to top it off. All right, well, that'll do. I mean, it was only three ice cubes, but who cares? All right, so, pour some tea in there. And there you go. Mmm, man, it's delicious.
Alrighty guys, and that is the video. Thank you all so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Thank you for all the support you've shown on the channel recently. It really does mean the world to me. We've already passed like 750 subs, so we're so close to hitting 1,000. So that's pretty awesome. Um, be sure and leave me a comment after you make this tea. Once you go and make it, uh, be sure and come back to the video and leave a comment. Tell me what you think. Was it good? Was it terrible? Did you hate it? Let me know what you thought of the tea and uh, all that good stuff. I would love to hear some feedback on it. Also, I've started live streaming on Twitch about three times a week, uh, and that's a lot of fun. I do it like Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays from 2 to 4 p.m. Eastern Saturn Time. So if you want to see me live stream some Team Fortress 2, go over and follow me over on there. There will be a link down in the description. And yeah, that's all I got for you boys today. So thank you all once again. Until next time, I will see you all at the top. I, I, I